Okay, on the 2006 F-150 with the 4.2 V6. We got a no start uh, situation. And I found out there's no spark. The way I did that, well, one customer said no spark and I confirmed it. So I don't have a test light here, but I always put a test light here, connected to negative from the battery or anywhere from the block to ground. And just put your test light right next to it, like give it a little air gap, little space, and that way it can arc. If there's spark, you'll find out if there is or not. And well, pretty much with these Fords, a lot of times the fuse inside here is blown. So pretty much this fuse here is the one that blows out. The one in the middle, I believe is 33. But this one, fuse box in the bottom here on the top, the one in the middle. That one blows out all the time. I looked at it, it was blown. I replaced it, it, bl it blew again. So that means we got a, uh, a shorted, well, most of the time it's a coil pack that's bad. But to short it out like that right away, you got a problem with the wire. So this is the second time this happens to me. That's what I want to show you guys. My crew here. This is the second time I see it and it happens to me. The capacitor for the coil. Right there. That. Jesus. All right. Switch here, but pretty much that wire there. Well, that one there, that pigtail right there. That's the capacitor for the coils. So that one touches the exhaust pipe there, the EGR pipe, and obviously shorts out. Now let me pull it. And you can see now. Touches on the, on the manifold. And definitely you see it's burnt. It's kind of hard to do this by yourself. Hopefully you got a picture there. So obviously that's why your fuse keeps blowing out. So just pretty much pull it away, replace the fuse. Fix that pigtail, get it out of the way, get out of the way of that pipe there, the EGR pipe tube, and it should start. And you should have a happy customer or or, or save some money. Let's see if it starts. We got the charger here because obviously it's dead. Haven't tried it yet. Here it goes. And there it is alive and that's pretty much it guys in this case you don't have to replace the the coil pack if you want to you can but it should be not a problem just fix that wire get out of the way of the EGR tube This one has two. 
the other one is where is the other one? Oh, it only has one there's only one coil but no I should have two I'm not sure if it has two but anyways hopefully this one helped you guys don't be afraid to hit that like and share comment subscribe for future diagnosis and education i'll see you guys in the next one and remember don't call it a day until you learn something new i'll see you guys later adios